Hey, what a night we got for you. We got an incredible Baron Corbin, Ilya Dragunov in a one on one matchup. Roxanne Perez, Tiffany Stratton for the NXT Women's Championship in a non title matchup. Which, hold on, that should be it for the championship. So that's for the NXT Women's Championship and then our main event, Die Jack versus Braun Breaker. In our main event, let's get. NXT Week 13 underway. The Scottish Supernova. Supernova 11, to be precise. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Air Scotland. Weighing in at 178 pounds. Supernova 11. Noel Dar. Prides himself on maintaining a veteran mindset because of that vast international experience. The hype man putting his money where his mouth is. And his opponent from Columbia, South Carolina, weighing in at 205 pounds, the NXT North American Champion, Trent. Williams. Trick Williams, absolutely not the type to stand for any disrespect. Has a swagger that tends to rub some the wrong way, but he doesn't care in the slightest. Trick Williams ready for action here. A lot of people underestimate Williams, and he's the kind of guy that takes that personally. With the gift of gab and the gift of jab, Trick Williams demands you show him the respect he deserves. Yeah, Corey, we're about to see how Trick gets that done tonight. But Noam Dar has only gotten more ruthless lately, especially when the pressure is high. And for Dar, the pressure is always high. Then again, you can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Round and round into the satellite DDT. Seated drop kick. And that holds Dar back. He's burying elbows to the midsection. Boy, oh, you're a pin uppercut. Ah, oh, shot to the back. Smart strategy, attack the knee. Noam Dar really putting the pressure on. Yeah, Dar's showing no mercy out there. Corey Trick Williams is still fairly new to WWE. Which part of his game should be his focus here as he continues to develop? Well, there's a lot of natural talent and athleticism in Williams. It won't solve for everything, but it should be able to get him out of most jams while he builds up his body of work. 
What a reversal by Trick. He finally creates some more offense for himself. Good chance for Williams to gain his respawn. Pele kick. Uh, using the top rope as an advantage. You ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Just how desperate do you have to be? Why not a fair fight, huh? Stopping their opponent. And the forearm smash. What could Trick be looking for? From the top. Elbow drop. Good Lord. And into the count. Gets his shoulder up before the two count. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. What do they have planned here? From delivering a Uranagi. And shoulders are down. There's two. Pushes through after two. And frustration might be starting to set in. Well-placed kick. Was mounted with punches. And, not, and a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Just a continuous rush on Noam Dar here. And Williams relies. Trick off the ropes. And throws it down with a slam dunk. Williams might just have it. Two. Major, major win. That'll change his career tonight. Here is your winner, Trick Williams. Trick Williams walking away with the win tonight. Maybe Noam Dar just flew too close to the sun this time around. You certainly don't understand how supernovas work, Saxton, but no matter, Dar isn't going to let this keep him from burning bright. Ships, Baron Corbin is raring for a fight. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The lone wolf mentality is back. No one's safe. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kansas City. Weighing in at 285 pounds, Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin's been a king, a jester, an authority figure, even a bum. Yeah, but now Corbin is truly himself. No more gimmicks. His pass destroyed. Baron Corbin looks to unleash some pent-up aggression here tonight. I, for one, cannot wait to see it. The czar of WWE, Ilya Dragunov. Dragunov looks ready to unleash his fury inside the ring here tonight.
Oh, what a cheap shot. That's just evening the playing field, Cole. What a disgrace. This referee has seen enough and issued a warning. Yeah, now is not the time to push the referee's patience. Superstars in the ring, and the referee officially starts the match. Well, this is the way we're starting, Cole. I think the WWE Universe is in for quite a show tonight. Clearly no love loss between these two with a display like that. Outlands the elbow. We know Corbin is not afraid of a brawl, but what if his opponent decides to turn this into a technical contest? Look, Cole, raw power and brute force can beat even the most seasoned grappler, and that's the case with Corbin. He needs to hit hard and hit off. Dragunov looking to attack from above. Up high, cross body. Attacking the arm. Great way to break down your opponent. Oh man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Set time. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. That offense might have rocked the confidence of Baron. Dragging off, really bringing the fury there. Out on the apron. Oh, this oh. is going to be bad. This is going to be really bad. Nasty. The hardest part of the ring. There is nothing but malicious intent when you deal damage out on the apron. Ooh, merciless looking blow. Getting dangerously close to our desk. That's it. I'm out of here. Oh, gripping the jaw. My goodness. That's insulting. That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. into the hip toss. We didn't expect that. You don't see someone of their size get handled like that too often. There was some power behind that punch. Straight to the knee. Wrestling 101. If you keep working on Moscow. And that can vanquish Corbin. Cover. What in the world? Oh, maybe some in this arena are dumbfounded, but there's no way Corbin wasn't going to get the shoulder up before the three count. And Dragunov realizing he'll have to come back twice as strong for the next one. And we know the mad Russian win. Boom! The Gulak attack. He is looking to do some serious harm. Boom! Deep six from the Lone Wolf. Corbin revealing just how dangerous he can be there. An absolute show of... Thanks for coming. At the days. Back it up. Corbin's got this. Two. He manages to kick out. What strength. The amount of damage Dragunov can and will take in any given match is unbelievable. And we are seeing that right now. He is still in this thing. And Corbin must be feeling robbed. I'm sure in his mind he got the three count. Bam! Corbin gets stymied. Back into the ring. Oh, what a right hook. Big right hand. Will it be? And still in this. A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. Carefully measured knee drop. Dragunov not backing down, not slowing down. He wants this fight. Uh-oh. Oh, God. A totally ill-advised decision there. Maybe slight hesitation there caused the outcome. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. This has been an absolutely brutal display of will from these men. You can see their flames starting to flicker. And it's only a matter of time before one goes out. Comes back into the rank. Baron taking a step back and measuring his opponent. See a cut two on Corbin after that. Oh, right to the kidneys. God, 
kick to the back. Ooh, vicious kick to the spine. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. say it, but Baron Corbin squandered away his opportunity tonight. He sure did. Big win by Ilya Dragunov over Baron Corbin. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, up next, the NXT Women's Championship on the line. Tiffany Trenton gets her chance against R Roxanne Perez. A self-proclaimed prodigy. Well, it's time to prove it tonight. Roxanne Perez was trained by WWE Hall of Famer Booker T. And he has said on numerous occasions that he sees endless potential in Perez. Potential's great, but she needs to tap into that killer instinct that Booker had. That edge keeps you on top. The first superstar to compete on SmackDown, who was born after it premiered. Well, you're older than television itself, so I'll take your word for it, Saxton. Get your cameras ready. Tiffany Stratton is here. Beauty, grace, athleticism, and skill. Tiffy has it all. Stratton has an amazing gymnastics background. She even competed on the U.S. national team. She sprang her way into WWE after that and has never looked back. We've learned very quickly that it's always Tiffy time in WWE. <laughs> Tiffany is one of the best no matter who she faces. Well, she definitely has the ego to believe that. Lots of competitors in the back dream for a shot at this title.
Action has made it back to the ring, and we can officially start this match. Oh, man. Yeah, the refs got their hands full in this one. Across the top rope. Ooh, what a hot shot. Top rope, putting it all on the line. Take off. Whoa, Rick Unbelievable athleticism. A big showing of agility from the champ there. A little closer to getting the pinfall there, but this is still anybody's fight. Series of elbows looking to create separation. She does so. the challenger rethinking their strategy something has to change here inexperience has to be one of the bigger hurdles for roxanne perez to overcome here don't you agree corey perez knows she's inexperienced compared to some of the other superstars on the roster cole but i think she's been able to turn that into a positive and learn from each match she's definitely gone into this one looking at it as an opportunity to grow oh that'll leave a mark Going through the arena. Wicked forearm. Did you hear that thud? My goodness, is this even legal? I don't think so. My God, enough. Forearm. Oh. Discus clothesline. So much momentum. Tiffany looking for the high risk move. Blast off. Drop kick. Woo. The champ now absorbing a little damage. Tiffany displaying some of her own brawn. <laughs> oh, Buster. Oh, yeah. She is really getting fired up. Absolute hatred boiling over in this one. <laughs> Roxanne Perez looking for Griff Pop Rocks. Will the rain continue? Two count. Wow, just barely making it out. And look at the disbelief on the face of the champion. They both know what's at stake. Neither competitor is going to lose easy here. Confidence must be waning as she hits the opposition hard, but still can't get the fall. Oh, reversal catches Tiffany. Oh, using the rope to their advantage. Punishing their opponent. Oh my gosh, terminating knee smash. Devastating flourish from Perez here. Yeah, we can certainly see that Perez has learned from the past and is capitalizing on it, making the best of her in-ring learning opportunities. And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. Look out! Oh, splash! Party's over, good night. She faked her own! The official's concerned with the wrong thing right now. They're completely missing the pin. She is showing us something special here tonight. Ooh, what a forearm club. Oh, put down face first. The challenger is in some big trouble. Roxanne Perez just all fired up, dropping her opponent. A nice clothesline delivered by Perez. Oh, wrist lock up to the top row. Top row back succeeds in defending her title tonight. There were a few moments where things were up in the air, but she was able to retain her title like a true champion.
Roxanne Perez successfully defends the NXT Women's Championship here tonight on NXT. Alright, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, our main event, Braun Breaker, Dijak. Two powerhouses, main event on NXT. This dude is one of the most impressive young superstars we've seen. Braun Breaker on a meteoric rise in WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Woodstock, Georgia. Weighing in at 230 pounds. Braun Absolute power, absolute aggression. This kid's the real deal. I agree, Cole. He's already more than living up to his family pedigree. of a top talent. Yeah, Braun Breaker just seems destined for very big things. Dijak is here. Get ready for some hard justice. And his opponent from Worcester, Massachusetts, weighing in. And 70 pounds. Dijak! A man who's as cold hearted as he is big. There are few people who are as disciplined as Dijak. Methodical in his actions, there is no movement wasted in the ring. With strength, stamina, and shocking aerial skills, there's no telling what Dijak will hit you with next. He has been on a war path after his rebirth, and now he's fully unlocked his true self. Bringing his brand of justice to the WWE, and no one is safe from Dijak's wrath. Referee signals for the bell, and we are finally underway. These superstars are seeing red right now, gentlemen. Down he goes. Standing moonsault gets all of it. Dealing out some damage and looking good doing it. Tossing them aside. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. Dijak was ready there. Setting up for something here. Oh man, taking it to the trachea. Oh my lord, tagged with a punch. Oh, he retaliates. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Uh-oh, hazardous part of town here on the apron. On the apron. The hardest part of the ring. That was worse than being hit by a cinder block. Driven down face first. Here it comes. Nicely done. Coming back into the ring. Back to the action. And Dijak. Great trouble here. Can he get it through? And he's able to fend off what must have been a grueling submission. Close line. Good lord. So effective. You wouldn't know it to look at him or anyone in his family. But Braun Breaker is a surprisingly intelligent competitor. Obviously, brute strength is one of the great tools in his arsenal. But if you overlook Breaker's ring... Will this be enough? He narrowly avoids the count. He thought he had it. 
Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. Big time powerbomb. You have to question what kind of malintent is behind a powerbomb with that much force. Wow! Something's about to go either very wrong or very right. Up high, diving into a clothesline. And he goes for the pin. A kick out before three. Somehow, some way. Both arms captured, and vitriolic stops. And that was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. Oh, man, that's like death by a thousand cuts. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. Breaker taking things to another level. I didn't think his intensity could go any higher, but I was just proven wrong. Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. Your perfect example for when you just want to put someone down with authority. Oh, look at this. Out to the apron. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Oh, my goodness. After that attack on the apron, there is no way we're seeing them leave this arena without medical assistance. He's looking a little weary now. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. And Dijak got bottled up there. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. The clubbing forearm. This is just brute power. Release German. Specifically targeting the leg. Dijak is taking charge. Tough spot for Braun to be in. Some control back now. Yeah, Breaker's survival instincts are taking over. He'll head to the ring. Breaker is putting his opponent on notice. Oh, and he's back in, beating the count. And being manhandled by a bear. Cover! Kick out at one. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. We continue to see incredible perseverance from these competitors. The war continues to rage on with no superstar willing to give an inch. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. Scoop slam, making it look easy. Dominating shoulder tackle. Trap in the arms. Oh, what blows! Good grief, man. This is vicious. And a standing Musa. Check out this display of power by Braun Breaker way overhead. Look at the military press and turns it into a power slam. Will that keep Dijak Brown? And Braun Breaker gets the win. Here is your winner, Braun Breaker! Braun Breaker snatches the win. Breaker's power once again proving too much to handle.